Halt! Mortals are not permitted within the walls of Holy Silarn. My pardon, Lord. Receive this key and with it free passage throughout the Shrine of the Flame of Agnon. Alas, we cannot light the flame until we take control of the Altar of Despair from the Infernal Maskin. The Armazel Kana would wish to speak to you at once. Proceed through this door to our main encampment at the Altar of Rapture. My scouts reported no signs of the Maskin in the Underdeep. It's our best chance to take them unawares. Too risky. It's likely to be a trap. They could cut us to pieces down there if they knew we were coming. With all due respect, Armas, I ask that you reconsider. The main passage is strongly defended. Perhaps if you'd allow me to scout further. Enough! I've made my decision. We will attack down the main passage as planned. The Maskin will not withstand us. How may I serve? Greetings, stranger. Are you here to help us drive the Mazkin out of Cylon? The flame is only lit at the command of Sheagorath, from the altars of rapture and despair within the shrine itself. I'm sure that Armazel Kana will be glad to help you once the Mazkin are driven from the altar of despair. Alas, we have not seen the altar of despair for many years. It is in the underground part of Cylon which is controlled by the Mazkin. The Mazkin do not even allow us free passage to worship there, which is one of the many reasons why they are unfit to continue to guard it. It is just there, at the top of these steps. You would pray for the blinding ecstasy, which is the ultimate reward for those in Sheagora's service? She commands the Orioles here at Cylon. She has just arrived with reinforcements from Velak to end this stalemate once and for all. That's what we call ourselves, the most loyal and honorable servants of Sheagorath. Our home and sanctuary here in the Shivering Isles. The treacherous ones, the dark seducers of ill repute, whose every action drags Sheagorath's holy name through the mud. My scouts recently discovered another way through the ruins to the Altar of Despair. The Armasal Canner wants to assault the Altar down the main passage, but the Mazkin are expecting us to come that way. They've strongly fortified the main passage against us. If we attacked through the Underdeep, we could take them by surprise. If only Kanna would listen to me. An attack down the main passage will end the same as it always does. A glorious defeat! She thinks the Underdeep is a trap. It's true. If the Mazkin knew we were coming that way, we wouldn't stand a chance. But I'm convinced the Mazkin don't expect us to come that way. If we attacked in full force, we could take the Altar of Despair before they had a chance to react. If only I could make Kana see that. For Sheagorath's glory. The Mazkin are unworthy to guard the Altar of Despair. This is no place for a mortal. We are about to join battle against the Mazkin. You'd best stand aside. My pardon, Emissary. I am at your service. We are preparing to sweep the Mazkin scum from Cylarn. Perhaps Sheogorath sent you to help us. Only the servants of Sheogorath can light the flame by kindling the altars of despair and rapture which feed the flame. Alas, we hold only the Altar of Rapture. The treacherous mask can hold the Altar of Despair. We must control both to light the flame. If you help us seize the Altar of Despair from the Maskin, I will be honored to kindle the Flame of Agnon for my Lord Sheogorath. The only way to assault the Altar of Despair is down the main passage between the two altars. It will be difficult. The Mazkin have fortified their position, but I am confident that with your help, we can defeat them. Will you help us retake the Altar of Despair and drive the Mazkin out of Cylarn once and for all? Ah, Meryl's beloved surprise attack. 
a perfect example of why males do not hold command positions. He has failed to consider the risks of his plan. If the Maz can have prepared an ambush along that route, we would be slaughtered. We're better off storming the main passage, where our superior strength and blade work can come into play. The flame is fed from the Altar of Rapture and the Altar of Despair. Only servants of Sheogorath can kindle the altars. Once we capture the Altar of Despair from the Maskin, it will be my great honor to light the flame for Lord Sheogorath. Are you ready to help us destroy the Maskin and take control of the Altar of Despair? That's an excellent idea. They cannot refuse entry to an emissary of Lord Sheogorath. Return at once when you have their deployments. This could make all the difference. For Sheogorath's glory. Cylarn shall be ours. What is it, emissary? The counterpart to the Altar of Despair. Rapture is currently held by the Aureoles in their complacency. But that will soon change. Our rivals. The so-called Golden Saints. One day, Sheogorath will finally recognize their bull-headed stupidity and expel them from the realm. The Holy Flame can only be lit from the altars of despair and rapture. Alas, the Aureoles hold rapture for now. You should speak to the Grakedric Ulfri at once. She will be glad of your help to rid Cylarn of the arrogant Ariels once and for all. You know us as Dark Seducers, a name given us by our enemies. But we are the Mazkin in our own tongue, Sheogorath's only truly loyal servants. She is the Grakedric. Commander of the Mazkin here at Cylarn. She has never yet been defeated by the Orioles, despite their strength. For Sheogorath's glory. How may I serve? A mortal wandering the halls of Holy Cylarn, and a male no less. Explain yourself. Then I am at your service. The Grakedric Ulfri commands here. You will wish to speak to her at once, no doubt. We hold the Altar of Despair, here within the Shrine of the Flame of Agnon. Continue down the corridor if you wish to meditate there upon the fate of all things mortal. For Sheogorath's glory. Hail. Be gone, mortal, or you will soon find yourself between the Mazkin and their prey. A most dangerous place to be. We are preparing to wipe out the arrogant Ariels once and for all. Once they break themselves on our defenses, Cylarn will be ours, a gift for our Lord Sheogorath. Then you have arrived just in time to help us defend the Altar of Despair. Once the strength of the Aureoles is shattered, I will be honored to light the flame as my Lord Sheogorath commands. The two altars, Blessed Despair and Holy Rapture, feed the great flame of Agnon above us. Only Sheogorath's immortal servants can kindle the altars, and I am at my Lord's command. But I only hold Despair for the moment. The Aureoles hold Rapture and are massing to attack us. But never fear, they are no match for us. Once their main force is destroyed, with your help, 
we can easily take rapture from the few survivors. Then I will gladly kindle the flame for you. Only the immortal servants of Sheogorath can kindle the altars of despair and rapture, which in turn feed the holy flame of Agnon. Once the Orioles are routed from the altar of rapture, I will be most pleased to command my soldiers to light the flame for Sheogorath's glory. We are expecting the Orioles to attack any moment. They'll come down the main passage from the altar of rapture. They always do. They are overconfident as usual. We have prepared many traps and ambushes. It will be a glorious slaughter. Once the Orioles are destroyed, I will light the flame of Agnon for you. Will you help us defend the Altar of Despair? I never suspected that Kana had the audacity to try such a risky assault. But we'll teach her to try to take the Mazkin by surprise. We'll cut them to pieces in those corridors. I'll redeploy my forces at once. You return to Kana and lead her into the trap. Once they're destroyed, I will kindle the altars. Good hunting, friend. Hail. Greetings, Emissary. We await your command. Are you ready to help us destroy the Mazkin and take control of the Altar of Despair? Very good, Emissary. With your help, we will rid Cylarn of the Mazkin once and for all. Down with the Mazkin! My soul Kill the Mazkin! Follow me! For Shao Thorak! For the glory of Sheo Gorath. Comrades, beware. before the saints. For Sheo Gorath. For the saints.
For the mad god! Hey, oh, for the mad god! For the mad god! Eight oh, oh, mad skills! Eight oh, oh, mad oh, skills! Oh, yeah. Kneel before the saints! For the mad god! Eight oh, 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 For the mad god! Oh, 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 for the mad god! For the saints. Victory is ours. I have already selected a candidate for the honor of kindling the Altar of Rapture. I will now claim the honor of victory for myself, here on the Altar of Despair. The altars can only be kindled by the willing sacrifice of a Maskin or an Oriole. It is my great honor to release my soul to oblivion in service to Lord Sheogorath. Farewell. I will not walk these lands for many a year.
be quickly, mortal. The holy flame of Agnon, the fire of inspiration and rapture. If you light the great torch on the mania side of the Sasellum, you will be a hero to the people of bliss, I assure you. I knew I saw the glint of true mania in your eyes, my child. Go now and let the holy flame inspire the people of bliss to new heights of madness. I'm disappointed in your choice. You'll find Mania to be a fickle friend. Goodbye. Aren't you off to a good start? That's important. For me. Really, your work is going to save me a lot of time. The Grey March is upon us, and the ordering begins. Armies of order sweep my realm. Death, destruction. Then I have to pick up the pieces. And there are always lots of pieces. I don't like it, having to rebuild my realm every era. Sometimes I forget where things go, like New Sheath. I can never remember where it belongs. You'll change that. Break the cycle. You'll stop Jigalag, and I'll have my realm to come back to. I've never actually tried that before. Why not? Something has to work. Once... I dug a pit and filled it with clouds. Or was it clowns? It doesn't matter. It didn't slow them down. To be honest, it wasn't the best idea. And it really began to smell. <gasps> Must have been clowns. Clouds don't smell bad. They taste of butter. And tears. But this... Is all new! A fresh idea! Something I hadn't thought of. Until I did. It sure to work, even though it might not. Now, you'll need the respect of my citizens. They'll need a leader, someone to look up to when I'm gone. They're the backbone of any great land. Except where the backbone is an actual backbone. Ever been to Malakath's realm? Oh, nasty stuff. But back to the business at hand. You'll need to control one of the carts of madness. Replace a current duke. Or duchess. Whichever. That will command respect. The people will rally around you. You'll have their love, their admiration, their complaints. Whatever. As long as it keeps them on our side. No, <laughs> no, 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 absolutely not. Well, yes, absolutely. Bit of a shame for them. But sometimes you need to break a few eggs or skulls. There are rules, though, even in the Isles. Rituals and rules. 
You need to follow them. Speak to Artis and Ervenen, the high priest at the Sasellum Arden Sul. They can explain what needs to be done. And you've always got our man Haskell to call on for help. Faithful, like a good hound, that one. And he looks better in a suit. It's already started, but you might be able to stop it. We're making you into a leader that people can trust. Someone to look up to. Someone to blame. Once I'm gone, things usually get bad quickly. Lots of defections, lots of carnage, but with you at the helm, things will be different. This time, I'll beat him. I can't stand losing, and I don't mind cheating. Ta, come visit again, or I'll pluck out your eyes. <laughs> The great torch shines with the pure light of mania. You chose well. In accordance with the ancient tradition, receive now the raiment of Arden Sul in honor of your mighty deed in service to mania. I wouldn't be caught dead at sickly Bernice's, though I imagine her customers might. Yes, how we would all aspire to be as great a leader as the first, our savior, Arden Sul, the greatest duke of the ages. We celebrate him with the ritual of accession, the path to maniac bliss. An important part of our history, my friend. I would be glad to tell the tale if you have a moment. Certainly. When the ruler of Mania has decided it is time, he will choose a successor from his court. The successor is invited to a huge celebration, a night of hedonistic revelry, wine, song, and of course, green moat. During this, the exiting regent imbibes three doses of the potent drug. This causes his heart to burst and his lifeblood flows from his body. The successor then gathers the drug-tainted blood and brings it to the altar of Arden Sul in the Sasellum. Once this is done, I will proclaim the successor a duke or duchess. Then, Sheagorath gives his blessing, and the cycle is completed. I'm disappointed in your choice. You'll find many... Blasphemy! Never utter the name of the Dark Deceiver lightly. Though his body is beyond oblivion, his soul encircles us, always watching, waiting to pounce with lethal aplomb. He is the bringer of pain and pleasure, the blade that cuts through our sins like a scythe through wheat. Only a true demented can appreciate what it means to render his name. Seldom is the subject ever br Wait a moment. Did you want to hear the history of the ritual? Very well. Spoken like a true son of the demented. To become the ruler of dementia, the current leader's heart must be cut out and brought to the altar of Arden Sul in the Sasellum. Once this is done, I can pronounce the heart bearer a duke or duchess. Then, all that is required is the blessing of our lord, Sheogorath. You're back! How nice for you! Does that mean you've made a decision? Or are you lost? Suicidal? Just let me know. A friendly word of warning before you choose. Once you've decided which duke to replace, there's no turning back. One choice. No more. No less. Try not to do something stupid. So which is it? What will it be? Mania? Dementia? The suspense is killing me! Or you, if I have to keep waiting. 
A safer choice, perhaps. Maybe you'll live through this. Aiden's a bit lost these days. Not that it's a bad thing. It suits him. <laughs> Until now. Besides, won't it be a grand surprise when you make his heart burst from too much green moat? Satan loves surprises. It'll be in full swing soon. Excited? You shouldn't be. It's the death of all things. But if we can get you into shape, we might stand a chance. You'll lead my forces. Inspire my people! Hopefully, everyone won't end up dead. He'll be here soon, and I'll be gone. Can't say I like the sound of that. I like the sound of other things, though, like birds and bones cracking. Thaden may be in a constant state of euphoria, but I wouldn't underestimate his intelligence. <laughs> this is so much fun! We will speak when your task is complete. Happy times, happy days. If I were you, I'd check with Thaden's steward, Wide Eye. You can usually find her roaming around New Sheoth or spending a lot of time on the palace grounds. Tread the humble path. Yes, what is it? Silarn is ours at last, thanks to you. Greetings, friend. 